Hey, let me know if you could see me or hear me. <laughs> We're having weird technical difficulties again today. Hopefully it's just for the noontime show. Oh, I got sound. Hey! Am I live? It says I'm live. No notifications. Ah, here it is. Okay, okay. I'm live now. Yep, perfect. It's working. Yay! <laughs> All right, so. Hi, everybody. I got a weird camera angle. Hello, Eric, how are you? It's good to see you. Sorry it's late, been having issues getting the uh, thing going. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for letting me know. Uh, this is the fourth attempt. Um, so yeah, hey, right on. I can see you all now. Yay. <laughs> so it's a real special day today. Oh wow, everyone's popping up. Hey everybody, how are you? Good to see you. Real special day. Launching of Kickstarter Day, the next chapter of La Muerta Onslaught. Check it out, everybody. We've got a lot of cool stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Thank you, Jimmy, for the okay. assist and getting everything working. <laughs> okay, so the, the uh, let's see. Wow, okay, this is really funkadelic. I've never watched this show. Um... There we go. Now I can read everyone. Oh, thank you. Thank you for letting me know, Ace. It, it's been really weird trying to get uh, set up here at HQ. This is the fourth attempt of going live. As you can see, I'm using my uh, personal phone so I can actually present the show. For some reason, the uh, my other phone, my work phone that I use for the show is just not wanting to work with me today. So anyways, it doesn't matter. It's Wednesday. It's May 12th. Kickstarter launch day for La Muerta Onslaught. I am so excited, and we've got a lot of good presentations to you later on uh, at 6.30 p.m., which will be 7.30 p.m. Mountain, which is 8.30 Central, which is 9.30 East Coast time. So be there. We've got a lot of great stuff. Uh, if I have time today, I'm going to take the camera and show you off uh, a quick preview of some of the beautiful additions we are offering on La Muerta's newest Kickstarter. So, I uh, hope everyone can hear me okay. Kenneth Rhodes, hi, greetings and salutations. How's your week treating you? Wow, it's so good to see all you guys. Um, it's Wednesday, I'm excited. It's new book day if you hit the comic book shop. So uh, hit up some comic book shops and get yourself some new comics today. Or whatever it is you collect. Magic the Gathering cards, Pokemon cards. You know, try a little bit of everything. Also, real quick, I thought I'd let you guys know we still have some Star Wars May the 4th exclusives for you. We have still available Merciless Onslaught, Naughty Lady Vader with pasties. Oh, I don't know how that looks. All right. So we still have that available. We still have the Lady Vader edition. These are the mock-ups. Ooh. Wow, what a weird camera angle it is to view it this way. <laughs> I'm so used to my little iPhone. All right, next up, we still have a couple copies left of Naughty Lady Vader Hollow Foil. I believe these will sell out because these are almost done. If they're not done already, there is very, very few. I think um, last I saw there was maybe definitely way under 10, so it might be out by now. But all you Hell Witch fans out there, we still got copies of your girl, like the Hell Witch, Hellboard 1, Darth Hell Edition. We still have some available for you Hell Witch fans. Beautiful homage. I don't know who's texting me on my phone, but I can't answer you right now. I'm live. Woohoo! We also still have Risqué Darth Hell Editions. And... Oh, pardon me. I didn't mean to burp. Ah, uh, there is still some Risqué Hell Metallic Editions. And we still have some Return of Naughty Lady Slave. Still available on the store. Go ahead and click uh, on the links. I don't have the links because uh, I had to use a different phone last minute. So, 
everything you can find. I'm sure Jimmy's going to broadcast it out and go ahead and uh, put in links and whatnot for you guys like we did before we had this issue. It's nothing new. It's It happens. It happens from time to time. You know, technology and everything. Uh-oh, here it goes. We already got Lady Death is going to win. Shoutouts are coming. The shoutouts are coming, everybody. Let's see. There it goes. Okay, I like that I can see you guys chatting. Wow, okay, La Muerta, yes. I made sure I'm ready. There you go. Got my La Muerta shirt going. I am so excited, and I can't wait to talk to y'all as we, uh, like we normally do, go ahead and answer your emails and add your add-ons and whatnot for you and answer any questions we can. So I'll be looking forward to chatting with you guys today uh, via Kickstarter Messenger. So, I got a lot of fun stuff today on the catacombs. Dakota has loaded up everything. I'm sorry I do not have the link, but I'm sure Jimmy will be uploading that link right now for the catacombs. So, uh, just like last time, guys, if you could help folks out that don't see the links, because unfortunately I was unable to look on Wednesday. <laughs> um, just had a little issues, uh, so I had to switch off phones, so I wasn't able to upload my links. So, I apologize. For <clears throat> the rough start, but we're at it. Here we go. Let's start things off. I got a mock up for you guys. This is Lady Death, Treacherous Infamy, Naughty Edition. It is a mock up art by Richard Ortiz. Got one available, and I remembered pasties. Yay! <laughs> Sucks, I can't really see how the stuff looks on camera. Let me see here. Oh, oh, well, that looks good. A little bit of a flare. Let me say, we'll make it better, we'll make it better, we'll make it better. All right, next up, I have a number three edition. This is Lady Death Retribution. This is the Countess Hollowfoil, number three. Bingo, what's his name? Oh, man, my sobrero is pretty big. It's weird, when I have it hanging up, um... On the wall, it's like, wow, it's so decorative and beautiful. And then when I put it on, it's like, wow, this sucker's huge. <laughs> Weird, I'm trying to figure out a way how I can make an adjustment to my little chin strap here. So, um, yeah, it doesn't wobble too much. But uh, as long as this doesn't break, I'm happy because I absolutely, I love my red one. But this black sombrero is so bitchin'. Yeah, I said bitchin'. Next up. For all you Hellwitch fans out there, this is the last copy, if I'm recalling correct. This is Hellwitch, the Forsaken Risque Strike Edition. One left. Here we go. Whoop, and I put the little star pasties. Star pasties. Actually, I'm gonna see about ordering some skull stickers for covering up naughty parts. Naughty parts. All right, here we go. For all you Harrigan fans out there, how about this? A Lady Death, All Hollows Eo, Naughty Hell Witch Hollow Foil with a remark, and it's signed by Brian, and it is signed by David Harrigan. Only got the one. One and done. What a beautiful, beautiful remark he did. Um, those who haven't met uh, David, man, the guy is an absolute sweetheart. He, it's amazing to watch him work. Uh, when he was here at HQ signing books, he's also out there just doing all the remarks and all the other stuff. So it was really amazing to watch him work, just like it is with all the artists. Um, whether we're doing the um, artist celebration or they're doing the presentations and drawing live, I love watching that because it just uh, amazes me how someone can take a blank sheet and just create magnificent art out of it. And you know, it, it, to me, I love watching it. I used to watch Bob Ross as a kid, okay? I'm that kind of guy. Next up, classic from the Chaos area, era, and I only have one. Uh, I was digging around, no more to be had of this. This is Lynch Mob number three. That is it. Kind of bummed. I was hoping I could find some more of these, but unfortunately, that is it for all you Chaos and Brian Polito completists. Next up, I have another fun classic. This is Zach the Zombie Exterminator, preview number one, and it is signed by Mr. Polito. 
Only the one available. That's all I have. I believe that is my last one. You know what? I'm going to do another classic. This is Chastity, number one. I believe this is uh, Theater of Pain. Bam. Only one I have. Last chance. Last one. That's a character, uh, I really liked her origin story. Um, just a really cool story Brian wrote. Um, of course, I haven't read any of the newest stuff because why bother Brian's not writing it, right? Exactamundo. All right, next up, another classic. This is a uh, little promo print. Uh, I remember putting these uh, in my store uh, when the Countdown to Apocalypse was coming up, or Countdown to Armageddon, I should say, uh, for the Chaos Universe. This is Lady Death, Countdown to, signed by Brian, Countdown to Armageddon promo, peace. Um, one thing I really loved uh, it, working in retail in the comic shops is when you got the mini posters of the posters and just decorate the heck out of the store, create displays of this stuff. It was always a lot of fun to do. And I always loved it because um, one thing that was cool about the Chaos stuff is all the Chaos fans would actually have us put their names on the backs of them. So when we were done with them, we could contact them and um, give, uh, hook them up with it. All right, all you Evil Ernie fans, classic chaos right here. Actually, this is pre-chaos. This is eternity. This is the Evil Ernie cell sheet. This is an old cell sheet. Got the cool little gold chaos sticker there. But this was an advert for, uh, the publisher would send it out if you were interested. You fill out the information and send it back uh, to get the orders in, if I'm recalling this correctly. Um, cell sheets were really popular. I want to say the last time I remember seeing some personally was around 95, 96, because by then you had Diamond and uh, Capital were the only ones standing before Diamond scooped everyone up. Um, but I really loved it when publishers would uh, reach out to you and give you these really neat promotional stuff to promote their new book. So always fun to find stuff like that. Why is my live chat not working? Okay. Kenneth Rhodes, thank you very much for sharing. Thank you for sharing, Steve. Where does got a lead on both? <laughs> I agree. Uh, oh, man, man, it's it's been uh, <laughs> it's been really fun watching you guys banter back and forth over the whole Hellwitch uh, versus Lady Death. It's been a lot of fun seeing all those great memes you all have been creating and posting up. And I really love just the fun camaraderie and banter between the fans. And um, I just want to say, guys, <laughs> some of those memes are keeping me in stitches. So um, good on you guys. You guys are super creative. All right, more Zach love for you because I love the Zach book. And with the coffin verse, if you want to know, hey, who's Zach and Xander and... Who are these zombie beyond? Well, here right now I have on the catacombs, Zach the Zombie Exterminator hardcover. This is signed by both Mike McLean and Brian Polito. I do have the COAs. I only have two of these signed hardcover editions. The last two, dos, one, two, three o'clock, four o'clock rock. Okay, Dynamite Trash Company. Yeah, everyone seems to agree with that one. Steve Yates. <laughs> uh, you guys are beautiful. I got to say, I, I really love it. All right. Evil Ernie fans. This is Evil Ernie Youth Gone Wild Encore Presentation 1 through 5. All five parts. This is the Chaos reprint of the old Eternity series. If I recall, it is in color. And I even tossed in a classic Chaos comic sticker to go into the mix. Evil Ernie, you come wild. I remember in high school this book coming out and my friend Justin and I hitting all the comic book shops trying to get a complete run, first printings of the Evil Ernie's first series, You've Gone Wild. It was not easy. It was really hard. My friend Justin, who had a better paying job than I did, um, 
He scoped up all of the first prints he could get. We had a competition of who he could collect the most spouse and evil learning stuff. Um, he usually uh, superseded me, but then I started uh, working in comic shops and then I started getting the better deals. So, yay me. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, we would spend sometimes uh, go after school and hit all the shops in Tempe where he lived and then hit up into Mesa. And sometimes I'd take my car and drive out to... Uh, Phoenix and all parts in between hitting every comic book shop because in the 90s it was like Circle K's or convenience stores they were everywhere and each one was just had a different feel and vibe to it I kind of miss those days when there was just so many shops so support local comic shops please uh, that's where I got my start from uh, when I go in there it is just a wonderful feeling walking into a comic book store and seeing all the amazing things that are offered from multiple publishers. If you like role-playing games, there's tons of great role-playing games. Check out your local comic shops. Find some classics in there. Next up, I have uh, some BPs for you. This is Lady Death, Bishop Knight, Line Art Graphite Edition. And it has the new BP COAs. Uh, I ran out of the old ones. So uh, you guys will be seeing probably, once I'm out of them, these really nicer looking uh, COAs we had made. I really like it. They look like metal. It's beautiful. Here is the Mischief Knight Line Art Violet Edition. And these are all images done by Dong Mitteg. This is very beautiful, beautiful work. So I gave you the graphite. I gave you the violet. Well, how about I just throw in a little pink in there too? Limited to 40. This is a BP edition. Right here. All three are available. BP editions. Don McTig, 40 were published, 50 were published, and 60 were published. Next up, everyone loves this image, and um, I can see why, because it is a stunning, breathtaking image by Richard Ortiz. Lady Death Fantasies, Naughty Moon Edition, low number four, low number five. These are vault copies. These are the only ones I have available from the vault. Four and five for all you Ortiz fans. Get them today. That's it. I don't have any regular editions after those. All right, so I did some more digging. I found some more beautiful cards. And they're all signed. Real quick, uh, still need the Eternity one. Those are my... Dude, good luck with that, man. Good luck, because... Uh, I remember back in 93, 94, uh, really having a heck of a time getting first prints. Those books were hot. Especially when Lady Death showed up, that issue was darn near impossible to find because it was getting scooped up so fast and you didn't have the internet at the time to run around to, you know, click on links to buy stuff. No, you had to drive or call and say, do you have this? Can you hold it? Boom. And hope to God they were cool enough to hold it for you and they didn't forget. So, you know, it, it, that was a lot of fun about collecting comics back in the day before the internet. Uh, you just sought every place you could go that had comic books that you knew of to find this stuff. It's, um, you know, bless you on your, uh, on that, man. I, that's going to be, I, I hope you get it. Cause that eternity run is amazing. Uh, I remember I really excitedly, I remember getting the, uh, Tim Vigil covers. I really love those. All right, let's start things off real quick. This is Lady Death, the Reckoning promo card. I have three available. They are signed by Brian. These were uh, real fun to find. Um, I, I Like I say, these are the items that are the building blocks, little pebbles that help build Coffin Comics. Next up, this is Lady Death Night Gallery promo card. Boom. Got one. It's embossed. Yeah, I, I, I actually rubbed her boobs. And I could feel it. <laughs> it's 3D, man. And it's foil and it's signed and it's mighty purdy, but I only have the one. <laughs> oh, my random acts of silliness. I hope you guys are uh, entertained. I'm here to entertain you the best I can. And I hope you're enjoying yourselves. <clears throat> Next up, Lady Death foil card number 70. This is also signed by Brian. Beautiful image. I really love that image. Just the spider web lingerie, the garter belts, garter belts, love garter 
whereabouts. So yeah, stunning, stunning piece. I only have the one. Most of the cards I've been finding, um, if I'm lucky, I have more than one, but pretty much, nope. All right, uh, I was really happy to run across another one of these. This is the Chaos Comics promo card coming in May, and Brian was nice enough to sign this. So I have only the one available. Um, the last time I had these, I think I offered them uh, February or March, and they went fairly quickly. And another thing I found going through everything, another one of these Evil Ernie Chromium stickers. Uh, stick, stickers. Stickers! <laughs> <laughs> this one is signed by Brian, and I did include the COA. Follow the lots, Kickstarter day at HQ. Woohoo, woohoo. I'm going to have fun meeting all of you. Hey, look at that. All right. This is Evil Ernie promo chromium card number one, signed by Brian. I have three available. That's a great image, too. I can totally... That's totally Brian. Brian does those poses. That's Brian right there, guys. Evil Ernie. Brian. I even have uh, photos uh, here at HQ with him doing that Evil Ernie pose. It's great. Love it. Shows the man is very involved with his creations. That, to me, is a class act. Next up, this is Evil Ernie promo chromium card number five, signed by BP. Let me see if any of you guys have said anything in the chats here. Uh, oh, no, I'm so sorry, Steven. Well, right now, um, I won't be doing any tears because I'm saving all my money to buy a house. My family and I are tired of renting, and I'm just tired of dealing with landlords that are goobers and management companies that are jerks, <laughs> I guess would be a polite way to do it. Um, so right now, we're just saving all our money for a house. Um, I, I want a house. I, I'm tired of living in apartments or townhouses. I want a house. I've worked hard enough my whole life. I deserve to own a house, and that's that's our goal. That's my and my family's goal. Thank you for asking, though. But I would say probably I would go with the upper tier, the higher tier, because then you got the um, Gomez stuff, the really beautiful Don McTeague items. I mean, there's so much beautiful art in this Kickstarter. When, when I'm done, I'll just uh, run through real quick and show you guys some stuff. Uh, this is Lady Death Card 21, Unconquerable, signed by BP. Also, um, I have here, uh, digging around, found another one. This is another one of those Purgatory Wizard cards. It is signed by Brian. Bam! It's my last one so far. Boy, I look scary close up. <laughs> All right. And last but not least, this is Evil Ernie Trading Card Collection Promo. This is the from 1993. It is signed by Brian, and it's got the classic smiley. It's got Lady Death, and it's got all that badass art. Look at that chromium cover. So beautiful. So beautiful. So that's everything I got for you guys today in the catacombs. Uh, I definitely want to show you guys um, some of the additions real quick for uh, La Muerta. Let me take this off because going through the doorways with my sombrero, I take out a lot of things. So go ahead. And... Rah. Go there. Oh, beautiful HQ. I can't wait for Sworn Fest, guys. This is going to be so fun to have you guys here. I can't wait to show off my office and um, see you guys all do the tour. I'll probably be at the booth, so I won't be able to see it. But, man, I, I just can't wait for Sworn Fest. So here we go, folks. This is the selection we have for the mystery envelopes. Stunning. Um, I don't know if this will blind you by looking at it in direct sunlight, but it looks like she is beaming aboard the Enterprise. That is badass. Oh, dude, I, I, I'm already hooked up. Don't worry about it, Jay. You take care of you. But I appreciate it. And I think I might even have, um, I think I might even have a, a mini Godzilla figure uh, for your boy. Uh, I ran across had a duplicate, so if I can find it again, 
Um, let me know when you place an order and I'll send it for your son. Here we are, the premier editions. We have a homage edition. We have the allies edition. The jeweled edition, this is gonna look so great. This is an image done by Monty Moore. Look at all the little hidden things inside that art. I mean, it is beautiful. You got the skulls on her, her choker right there. You got the beautiful, even designs inside the rings. Little skulls going around her head. Just beautiful piece. Thank you, Monty, for uh, just stunning, stunning. Here is, let me put my fingers in the way. Here. <laughs> I guess that's not a bad place to put your fingers. Uh, that sounded wrong. I apologize. This is the Naughty Sombra edition. This is, I believe, the hardcover edition. Here is the coffin-shaped edition. I'm so happy we're doing this for La Muerta. Um, I hope someday we can do a metallic version of this because I would love to make a couple of these. Um, speaking of metallic editions, this is the Metallico edition. Next up, this is the hollow foil. That is adorable. I really love that image. It's so cute. I mean, it just it's cute. I love that art. It's it just as a foil, it just really pops off for me. Yeah. Dude, yeah, that that this the jeweled edition is just truly breathtaking. He really did an amazing job. And it's a great companion piece if you picked up the um cascade um that he did uh, when we did our artist celebration recently. All right, here is the mega foil edition. Of course, this is a mock-up, so it's not really mega foiled yet, but just picture all of the foilage. Imagine in your mind how this is gonna look with a mega foil. Beautiful is what I say. And of course, we are releasing our first art of La Muerta. This is the standard edition. Beautiful art all throughout. And not only that, I really like what we're doing with the interior. Just pops. Look at that. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful artwork. We, we really did an amazing design work. So props to the design team for the graphics. Beautiful art book. I can't wait to uh, have these on the store. I can't wait that tonight we get to present this stuff to you on Kickstarter. This is the signed... Limited edition, there's probably going to be about uh, 250 copies of this made, and I'm sure there will be a nice little print. And, got that awesome faceplate printed in there. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. Also, I have to announce, trade paperbacks uh, for La Muerta Liz, Volume 2, which this will be collecting uh, chapters 4, 5, and 6, and it is also will be available in a hardcover. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. I can't wait. I, I Definitely the trades. But next up, here's another beautiful piece by Monty. Right there. Bam. This is the War Edition. And this probably... It's hard to pick a favorite, but this is probably in my top five of the images. This is the Metallic Jewel. This is, uh, I think, this is probably the best work I've seen uh, Jesse Witchman do for us. And then here is the Seduction. So it's going to be a metallic jewel and an edition called Seduction. This right here is our reference edition. I love that. I think this would make a great patch to maybe put for like battle jackets. Or I think this would be just a beautiful image painted on a leather jacket. Yeah, Witchman did kill it. Um, that is probably the most beautiful piece I've seen him do since I've been here. Uh, next up, another really beautiful one by Richard Ortiz. Um, just stunning. I actually, I really think all the artists just outdid themselves uh, for this Kickstarter. Ooh, I wonder what this could be. Oh, oh, no, no. Can't touch it. Can't touch that. Do, 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 ch -ch do, do, ch do, do. Sorry, looking like the Blair Witch Project there for a second. All right, and these are the uh, Legend Editions done by Don McTigg. This is the Virgin Art. Stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow, look at that black and white one. That's just really nice. And then Joel Gomez, bam. I absolutely love these. These are the ultimate editions. Thank you, Joel. Again, you just you, you keep killing it. There's the fine art print by Don. Here is our metallic card set. 
And I love it. We got some really stunning images for this set. But here we go. Ooh, I like that idea, Jay. These are the, um, oh God, Chase Editions. Thank you. <sighs> Brain fart. So these are just a, a quick preview, everybody, of what we're going to be doing when we launch today, the Kickstarter. <gasps> oh my God, I haven't seen this. And I want that on my, in my office, covering up a whole wall. Oh God, that's beautiful. Wow. Wow, just stunning. See, there's so many great things. I didn't even notice the beautiful banners we had made up. I didn't seen those yet because I was just blinded by all this. It obscured me from even that beauty back there. So that's just a real quick preview, guys. Um, we will be here um, for your entertainment, helping you guys out with all the uh, messages you may have for us. Um, remember, if you could, guys, try to get and be patient with us. There's only... Um, Three to four of us at a time answering your emails. So try to keep all your messages to the Kickstarter messenger, please. We will reply back faster that way. And it's the more appropriate stuff. The only time you should message us outside of Kickstarter messenger is because you're having issue with Kickstarter messenger. Let us know. I mean, we got a lot of ones for the uh, Lady Death ones. Like, oh, did you guys get my thing on, you know, Messenger? And it's like, yes, we will get to it. It's just there's so many of you beautiful people just sending out all that love uh, for our Kickstarter, for our items. That just be patient. We will definitely get to you. And we look forward to helping you guys all out with your add-ons and anything else you need. Well, that's going to do it for me this week. I will see you guys Monday. It'll be a slightly different show on Monday, but I am sworn to you. I'll see you guys later on this afternoon when we launch La Muerta Onsat Kickstarter. Everyone have a beautiful day. I hope your rest of your work day goes by fast. So you come and hang out with us some more. Have a great day, guys. I salute you. Bye-bye. See you later. Alligator. Ah!